Hey guys, my name is Gore and today I will show you how to create a realistic car paint with Corona and 3ds Max. First of all, we need to understand there are two different types of car paint, solid paint and metallic paint. Both uh, versions have at least two layers, like the base layer and the clear coat layer. For the solid, we have only the color plus clear coat. For the car paint, we have a color layer flakes like two different types of flakes and the clear coat because most of the time these paints are based from polyurethanes and color pigments and clear coat layers so we are going to use blend material most of the time to achieve the desired result let's get started all right we've got our grayscale shader board here with a very small but bright light we've got two types of hdrs to mimic the environments and our reference image of the bugatti chiron let's look at the paint it's pretty blue but solid it doesn't have any highlights around the corners it doesn't have any shiny reflections and color transitions or gradients around the curves because again it's a uh, solid paint and we will try to replicate this paint right now in ROC. Let's look at the HDRI from polyhaven.com. It's a uh, overcast HDRI um, to just mimic the environment for the solid paint. And let's drag and drop the HDRI into the environment uh, slot and create a first material. It will be a Corona physical material. Let's name it M Blue Solid. Let's pick the color from the uh, reference image itself, but we need to turn it down because it's under the sun and it's a little bit overexposed. So we need to darken it, but I mean, that's too much. Uh huh. That's good. For the roughness, I would recommend putting point 0.8 for the solid. Let's hit the interactive and see what we've got. I've got some curves and different adjustments here, but I will turn them off because we don't need them for now. Uh, yeah, let's turn the cur curves off. And this is the base layer of our, of our solid blue car paint. Uh, now we, let's add the clear coat on it. Let's test the value of one. Well, I think it's, it's too much, uh, compared to the reference. It's too much. It's too shiny. Uh, it's not how it looks. It washes away the color. So let's turn down it to 0.85 and add a little bit of absorption color, a little bit of bluish absorption color. Okay, this is looking way better compared to the reference under these angles. It's, it's looking way, way better. Uh, but we need to add a, a bump to the surface because it's too clear. It's, it's too clean, which is now how it looks. We have an orange peel on the car paint. I'm not sure if you can see it, but let me open the orange peel. This is the orange peel. It's called orange peel because it uh, mimics the surface of the orange skin. It's a result of car, drying car paint. I mean, it's an effect, it's a natural effect. Um, so let's recreate it. Let's go to general composite. We are going to use two maps. So first of all, in the first map, we'll put a uh, noise map. A simple noise map. And let's uh, first of all, now let's first of all add a little bit of a contrast to the noise because I want to increase the intensity of it. Mm, that's enough. Let's render it. And obviously, we are not going to see a lot of difference in the image because the noise map is way too big. For the value of one, it's it's still it's too big. That's now how it works because the shader wall is 50 centimeters to 50 centimeters. Let's turn it down to 0.35. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is looking good right now. The effect of it is way too strong, especially on expensive cars. You don't see a lot of orange peel. This is not how it works. Let's turn it down to 0.1. Now let's add the second layer. That will be, I think that will be a cellular map that works well most of the time, but let's open it. The cellular map is a scattered like spherical cells, but I don't want cells. I want chips to broke down the borders and the edges uh, of the paint. Um, all right. For the chips, I also want to have a... Uh, fractal uh, fractal map on uh, in uh, fractal effect turned on because i want to put them to be broken down uh, basically i've got these edges and borders here which are black which means they are pushed inward but i want them to be pushed outward so that that is why i will invert it and now we have got our borders pushed outward so let's first of all first of all let's let's mix them together let's increase the noise map just to see to, to visually see the effect so uh, when putting a screen effect here we can see that we will keep the bright pushed out edges and within the borders within the black areas we will have the noise map underneath that's how the screen effect works it basically overlays the bright pixels um, on the layer underneath but i want to turn down the opacity it's way too much and let's turn down the size of course 0 0.5 0 0.35 for the noise let's increase the resolution of the render to to see in a cl most clear way and before that let's turn the bound down because it's it's still way too strong all right um this is what we have got guys so let's zoom in you can see that we've got a lot of broken reflections especially under the angle but this it's this is looking way better uh, than the previous version and we've got our highlight here uh, i guess for the solid paint that's enough that's how it will look in reality now let's jump to create the metallic paint all right guys in this scene we have our metallic bugatti reference you see the metallic uh, flakes on the car paint itself. We have small scale flakes and big scale, larger scale uh, flakes, and let's get started. So let's just drag and drop the color, uh, drag and drop the material, get the color as as good as possible, and let's add a little bit of blue. Let's, it's just eyeball it. There is no like magic formula for it. Let's eyeball it. I think it's okay. And put the roughness 0.8 as we did in the solid paint before. All right, let's create a blend material. Create uh, M flakes 01 for the first layer of flakes. Again, let's get the color from the reference by eyeballing it. 124 should work yeah and now let's change the parameter to metal because it is metal now we gotta create our norm normal map but first of all let's mix two layers and see how it's going to look like you already can see the metalness in the shader but we we gotta continue Let's increase the exposure a little bit and let's create the normal map now. Uh, first of all, let's choose a triplanar map because we don't have any UVs. Uh, let's create a, a Corona normal 
add an OSL map. Uh, let me explain what the OSL map is. So the OSL map is a shader uh, or a functional texture that is written with C++. Basically, it's a line of code that transfers into a material texture or a certain type of a function in your shaders that is written uh, with a C++. If you know how to do it, you can use it. It's very flexible. And now uh, we have flakes in here. You can see it. The scale basically tells what it does. It changes the scale of the flakes. The flake size changes the size of each flake and the variation changes the variation of uh, retina variation amount for each flake. The orientation changes the orientation of the normal map for each flake. I mean, how oriented, how, what direction they're oriented. 2500 for the scale works best. Uh, I want very dense flakes, so I'm going to increase the size. I want it to be as dense as possible. So 0.85 should work in this case. I want um, a lot of randomness in the uh, size itself. So let's put it to one and change the channel name to result. So we will get the color information for the normal map. Okay, let's see. That is way too strong. Let's decrease it to 0.1. Okay. Now we we gotta we gotta test it to see the effect. Um and we gotta copy it to a roughness map. The roughness map is a normal map copied. Uh, so let's get rid of the normal. Just leave the OSL and try planar. And desaturate it because roughness requires a grayscale map. So let's hit and choose Corona color correct. Desaturate it. And we can now play with the curves to, to adjust the glossiness and roughness of the map. Okay, let's 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 make it a little bit higher. This is also a thing just to eyeball it. There is no secret formula. I know that I want to have a rough flakes for the flake one. Okay, let's stop it. Uh, I guess it should be a little bit higher in the roughness. That is too too low. Okay, let's increase it a little bit and hit the render. Yeah, this is looking much better. This is looking much better. And now what we can do here is we can simply copy the flakes one to, to the second layer to create this uh, bigger size flakes, more spread and shiny, shiny particles in the paint. So just drag and drop as a copy, rename it to Flakes02, change the color a little bit because they obviously have a variation in color. And now the thing is to change the normal map. The normal map I want in this case, let me show what I mean. I want spread flakes on a square inch. I want the flakes to be spread. So let's decrease the flake size, leave the variation on and uh, put 1500 in the scale. I guess this should work better. Okay, now let's simply go to our material and adjust the roughness as well. Clear it, copy the normal map as we did before. Uh, the, uh, remove the color normal map from it. Simply drag and drop. Uh, choose Corona color correct. Desaturate it. And now we can play with the curves here as well. But before that, let's go to, let's go to, um, maps turn off the roughness and just put a, a glossy roughness in it and increase the flakes here 
basically now we can add the clear coat layer. Simply add a physical material M clear coat. Let's change it to metal. So basically, uh, let's create a chrome. 0.03 should be enough. It will look like a mirror. And the only thing here is to add a fall off map. Uh, and we will uh, mix it as a Fresnel. So Fresnel 1.6 should work. And let's copy the uh, bump map that we have got in the solid. Just paste it here and do a test render. And sorry, I, I think I forgot to decrease the amount of bump. Yeah, correct. Let's stop it and decrease the bump 0 0.06. This is looking very good, guys. This is looking very good. The only thing that we need here is to increase the second layer of flakes to be to be more visible. So we simply can decrease the roughness of the flakes and increase the amount of normal map we have got. Let's increase the normal map up to two times like and do a quick test render. And now this is looking very good. This is looking good. But we need to keep in mind that I have created some curves and adjustments to match uh, my reference image uh, Without the curves, it will look a little bit different. But we need to match the color tone and shadows in order to be able to work properly. Also, these star-like effects are optical effects, which are achieved with bloom and glare. So basically, I'm trying to match the camera and color grading of the reference image before creating the shader itself. All right, guys, I hope I was able to help you. You can download the 3D scene with carpet materials in my website. And if you have any questions, just write down in the comments below or send me a DM. Thank you.